and it means collie means bile and sterile means solidity and it tells you what its natural role is and normally it's a powder a solid powder so the collie part we make bile salts out of cholesterol to help digestion without cholesterol we wouldn't be able to absorb fat using the bile in our, in our intestines so cholesterol and bile are essential Cholesterol is in every cellular membrane. All of our cells have cholesterol in the membrane. Without it, frankly, they'd fall apart. It gives solidity to the cell. So again, cholesterol is essential. Cholesterol is the precursor molecule for vitamin D. The sunlight wouldn't do anything unless we had the cholesterol to start off with. And all of the steroid hormones, testosterone and estrogen, are made from cholesterol. So cholesterol is not something damaging and foreign. It's actually a good thing to have and you'd be very sick without it. And we make 85% of the cholesterol in our body, our liver does, and we the, the diet's only a top up. And so the idea of cholesterol in the diet being harmful has really died over the last few years. Um, it started off with this uh, Russian who fed cholesterol to rabbits and he found cholesterol rich plaques in their blood vessels and people thought oh eating cholesterol must be bad but but even he in that first paper said it causes the problems in rabbits but not in rats and therefore I'm not sure whether these experiments that I've done have any relevance at all to human pathology so all that stuff about eating cholesterol to, uh, for animals is, has really got no relationship to humans and even Ansel Keys who put the the cloud over cholesterol said himself that the cholesterol in the diet doesn't matter. It's more the other things in the diet that matter. And this was Ansel Key's um, graphs, which many of you will be aware of, but the higher your cholesterol, the more likely you are to have heart disease. Or the higher your saturated fat intake, the more likely you are to have heart disease. Now, many of you know how biased those studies were because in modern times, people have done the same sort of studies and found completely the opposite. The lower your cholesterol is, the more likely you are to die, and the higher your um, saturated fat intake is, the less likely you are to die. And the important particles are these VLDL, IDL and LDL particles, which will go through what they, what they mean. So the liver makes the VLDL particle, the big particle, and it's full of triglyceride and fat. And then that particle floats around in the blood and gradually the triglycerides are taken out of it, hopefully to muscle, but maybe to adipose tissue and other tissues. And then they, it, they get smaller and smaller until what you're left with is a cholesterol-rich, smaller particle called LDL. So this is triglyceride-rich and this is cholesterol-rich. Now what normally happens to LDL, once it's finished playing this game, is it goes straight back to the liver. <laughs> 